How's it going, YouTube? Chris here, my home theater. Got a brand new video for you this morning. So I'm going to turn this camera around and we're going to talk about uh, what I've been working on. I've been working on a few things the past couple of days. So uh, let's turn around, take a look. So as you know, I had put this up the other day and of course it's not done. It looks like crap right now, but I'm, I'm going to do a panel. And then I think I'm going to go further that way. Uh, I got to do some trim work. And as you can see, I put some felt there and over here. Uh, now, what I did up here is I wanted it to look kind of baggy looking. As you can see, it's not even connected to the wall. It's just kind of hanging there. And if I'd have had enough, I would have had, you know, the, the loops in it, which would have looked better. But it's fine. It's serving its purpose. And also, I've got some felt here so it's all the way around the screen and it looks amazing guys i swear it do let's turn the light off look at that it just done away with all the overfeed so i appreciate all you guys get bugging me about this thing and and, and just get me on the ball especially frankie when he came you know he mentioned that it would help and you know the next day I, I installed it or started working on it. So guys, I appreciate, you know, the, the nudge to try to get this done because it, it's, it's made a tremendous difference. I mean, it just looks so good. And uh, I don't know where I'm gonna put these panels at and I'll explain this in a minute. I don't know where I'm gonna put these panels at. I don't wanna hang them back up there because if you sit down and if I was to zoom in, I mean, all you see is black and I think I'm going to do a I'm going to try to find me a black area rug to kind of you know see see how much more that'll help I mean there's a little light on on the velvet but you know overall guys good light it makes a big difference it makes a very big difference and I like it so the other thing that I've been working on is that I have finally finally hook these up so now i'm running a 9.6.6 i'm running nine floor oops excuse me i'm running nine floor channel speakers six height speakers six subwoofers 418 behind the screen 218 behind here and i had to break out the old rockville i had two of them left i sold them i got two of them left so i had to break it back out until i can do something different and it, and it works guys so while I was hooking this up, uh, I had bought on iTunes uh, The Last Voyage of the Demeter. I think that's what it's called. It's about Dracula. And constantly, I'm talking about throughout. When I finally got one of these, I hooked this one up first because this was easier. Because all I had to do is I got a fish tape. And all I had to do was drill a hole up here and drill a hole down there and say I've already got it patched. And because uh, this is a wall that I built. Now, this wall here is actually, there's a wall with thick wood behind it, then insulation, and then I put sheetrock on top of it so I couldn't get my fish tape to go down. So I actually had to cut the wall. I had to cut it. So I've already got it fixed. I got to let it dry and I got to sand it. I got to vacuum everything and then repaint it. And I thought about not doing it because I'm, I, well, I mean, I need to sand it anyway, but I'm, I'm thinking about bringing the uh, the velvet at least to the door, and then I'll cap it off with some uh, some uh, boards. Just cap it off here, and I'm gonna run some boards across the top here, and also over here, over here, and down. And then when I bring it back this way, I'm thinking about bringing it to this door. But I don't know. I just got to get this fixed first. Uh, but when I, while I was playing that movie there was constant sound out of those front wires now i just got done uh testing it out watching um gran turismo and i didn't hear a whole lot out of these it had some uh but i'm gonna sit down again and watch the last voyage of the demeter because that movie has awesome atmos now it's on itunes it's on 4k it's on atmos i think uh, as far as physical media goes, I think it's only on Blu-ray now. 
if it ever comes to 4K, I'll buy it. Because that movie, that movie has got a freaking good soundtrack. So I'm excited to uh, be able to sit down a little while and watch it. So I just wanted to give you guys an update. And uh, I, I swear, I love it. I love this, guys. I mean, look at that. Just nothing. Just blackness. And this actually seems like the, the picture looks better. Now, I don't know how that can be. Maybe it's just my eyes. Or maybe that's just me hoping that it looks better. But it does for the fact that it's not, you know, bleeding all on the walls. It may take away or maybe made a distraction, what I think a lot of people called it. Um, and this is just something on YouTube. I think it's Cancun or, or something. I don't know. Uh, I try to play something that I can show what the picture quality looks like without getting uh, uh, hit with a copyright. You play any kind of movie on there, they hit you for a copyright. So I quit doing that. So I just pull these 4K, 8K, 12K, whatever demos. And uh, it does show off the picture pretty good. I mean, I, I don't know. That looks amazing. That looks amazing. But look at that. There's just nothing on the walls. But then the floor shines. So we're going to do something about that too. Uh, like Again, Everybody said, oh, you should have got different color carpet. I wanted it, guys, but I mean, this, I paid $200 for this carpet, and I was on a budget. And to buy just black carpet, just the carpet was $1,000. So I just, I mean, this carpet don't look bad. It's just a lighter color. But we are going to put a area rug there, black, and uh, we'll see how that turns out. So guys, what do you think? Um, the front wides, if you look, I mean, I bought, I actually got some more of these here that I was going to put there and angle them. But like me and Frankie was talking about, he was sitting where I was sitting at. And he, he was asking me if I had them hooked up and I didn't have them hooked up. But he said they're actually perfect. I mean, because the, I mean, the angle is straight to the listening position. So you don't have to angle them. They're already angled. And they don't look all that bad or noticeable because if you turn the lights off, I mean, <laughs> I mean, you don't really see them. They kind of blend in with the wall. And by, I mean, if you look at that tip, that commercial, just when I was fishing to show you something. So what I was saying is, uh, if, if, oh, let me get back in the right spot. If you look at when it was dark, uh, that part of the speaker blend right in. So if I do bring this back, it'll just disappear. That's the way I see it. Let me see if I can turn that off again. Well, see there, it just kind of blends in. So I don't think it's that bad. I really don't. So yeah, I like it, guys. I really do. I think it's uh, I think it worked out good. I really like these speakers here. I mean, I got them set in bipole. I don't know. I mean, it's like I could switch into bipole, dipole, but, you know, uh, at your at the listening position or pointed towards the listening position, if I can get the cover off. Let me walk over here to this one. I got to clean up this room. Can't get the cover off. There you go. So what's facing towards you is that. And then on the other side um, is just the... Uh, tweeter and the port but it does make sound at both sides uh so i don't know if bipole is better or dipole is better I, I don't i don't know for what i'm using it for all i know is it's making sound and i can hear it and it sounds good um i know definitive technology they have the bipole towers the uh, speakers on the front and on the back i had some i had the uh, def tech uh 2002 tls back in the day my god that was a they're awesome. And I uh, heard some audio advice, uh, some of the newer ones, and they are freaking awesome. I think they had uh, nine floor channel speakers of those, of the towers just all the way around the room, and had six uh, Def Tech speakers for the heights. And I know we've talked about this before. And then they had that, uh, the, uh, the Denon, I think it was the Denon processor. Uh, no amps, and that was, in my opinion, was one of the best sounding rooms there. And all they had, because everybody was asking, "What? Where? 
Matter of fact, Frankie, you you were in there with us. Uh, that's that's one mean you met there. Um, and we was all looking at what kind of amps they were running, and they were running the process. That's it, or the, or the receiver, that den and receiver. And I'm telling you guys, it it sounded good. Good Lord, that thing sounded good. So uh, I do like Dev Tech speakers, and like I say, they're bipolar. So I got these set on bipolar. So I mean, I mean, sound coming out both sides, it'll make it not localized i guess because that's what you used to want what you used to want but i mean it is pointed because the sound comes straight to you i don't know i don't know if i'm explaining that right but uh i do i do like the front wides and that's about halfway you know from the screen to the other speakers from the screen to the listening position it's about halfway so i guess that's in the right position but uh yeah, I'm getting there, guys. I am getting there, and the more I do, the more I like it, even better. And we're gonna we're gonna clean all this crap up. We're gonna make it look better because I can't, I can't, I can't have it like that. Not with uh, not for my. I don't like having it like that, and then having people come and uh, check my system out and stuff. I don't want to look ratty. I don't want to look ratty for myself, and I don't want to look ratty for for other people coming over. And you, as you can see, I pulled my Govee lights up. There was, I didn't even turn them on anymore. I still have my lights in behind the uh, thing up there, uh, the molding. So if I want lights on, I can still use them. And I can still have them in my rack. And like I said, the ones behind my screen uh, messed up. Hey, Art, take them Govee lights and run them around the screen. I got plenty. But, yeah. Guys, I, I'm really liking how this is, is, is turning out. Uh, let's turn this thing around. Let's 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 go ahead and end this video here. So, uh, guys, hey, what do you think, man? I mean, this is something that y'all been telling me to do. I'm getting it done. Uh, still gonna take me a, a few days to get all the trim and all that fixed because I'm a I'm actually gonna wrap the trim in uh, in velvet too, so it that all blend together and uh, look better. So. Uh, what do you think, guys? Uh, how do you like how it's turning out? Do you like what I've done so far up up top and uh, got my wides hooked up? What do you think about that? So, so guys, that's it. I hope everybody had a good turkey day yesterday. I cooked so much, and oh, my God, I'm still stuffed. So, uh, anyway, guys, I hope you have a good weekend. And uh got more videos coming. I'll put out some tomorrow. I'm still thinking about doing the, the Equalizer 3. I watched it last night. That movie just does not have the sound that the second one does. The second one is um, by far the the greatest uh, with so much low end bass, so much uh, surround effects and height effects from you know the hurricane scene and all that. It's just that that movie is probably my favorite, and it's awesome. It's it's a good movie, um, but we may do one on the third one to try to get. Uh, that out. I know a lot of people says that they didn't realize it was in DTSX and uh, IMAX enhanced also. So that's good to know. And if y'all know of anything else that's coming out that I may not realize, hey, let me know and I'll count up my pennies and see if I can uh, get something pre ordered so, or go buy if I can't, if, if it's already out. So, guys, y'all have a good week, weekend, and we'll catch you again in the next video.